It's about 8 a.m. on Monday, <clears throat> May 8th, 2023. I've just moved them to the last cell in this section, but they don't want to move. It's about 73 degrees outside right now. There's a wind blowing. And we have uh, rain that's supposed to come here shortly. <laughs> There's the lambs and the sheep. They're chewing their cud. <laughs> Sleepy sheep. Anyway, um, the cows don't want to move to the last section. I'm not sure why. I did have some parasitic wasps waiting for hatch. And I got too long to them. They're still alive, but I put them out in the field. I don't know how much effect they're going to have on the fly population. I messed up that inoculation. Come on, let's go to the next row. Come on. Come on. They just want to stay here. What's here that's so awesome, huh? I just see a bunch of cow poo. You're all just not hungry, huh? Yeah. I came too early in the morning. <laughs> what is that calf doing? Smelling the butt. <laughs> anyway. You're all chewing your cud. Nobody wants to go to the new row. The new cell. Come on. Whoa. The grass here is decently tall. Up to my knees. <laughs> the cow zigzagging. <laughs> it's like, how are you on both sides of me? How is that even possible? Here comes the bull. I kind of don't like a bull snorting and following me. <laughs> <laughs> is he hurting the cows? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'll probably leave him alone. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, yeah, they don't want to move to the last section. There's no reason for them to. Everything they need is right here. There's plenty of grass. Anyway, I was saying that the grass here is decently tall. Um, but the grass in that first and second sections that we did the beginning rotation is incredibly tall. Uh, I think it'll reach up to my armpits before June is done. So, yeah, I need more cows. <laughs> A lot more cows. I don't know how many more cows, but I think at least twice as many to keep this grass in check. Um, my neighbor is going to call me soon and he's going to say, you need to hay your field. I'm not going to do that. Um, Greg Judy warns against haying your field, especially when you start rotationally grazing and you start to see growth. The Cutting the hay and taking it off the field is removing those valuable nutrients. and. Uh, the feed for the, the critters inside the soil. So you have to let the grass grow. You have to use the cows, to, you have to get the cows out there to eat it and to trample it and things like that. So yeah, if, if I don't get all the grass in this rotation or the next rotation, um, or three rotations from now, in the middle of summer, this will all dry. And I'll have to trample this grass in order to get more grass. So I'll have to, at some point, bring the, the cows in to do very intense grazing, where either they eat everything or they step on it. You know, I can't leave grass standing. Eventually it has to be put down. Um, it's fine to leave it for now in the spring, but when it turns dry, it's, it's just gonna keep those nutrients in the air where nothing can get to it. So at some point it will have to be trampled and integrated into the soil. Um, here's the next section. We're starting this section in the afternoon today. So 
You can see the grass in the distance has kind of changed to a yellow color. That's the seed heads that are developing. So on the rye grass, you know. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I have to get to the trailer early and finish cleaning the the fat fryer and the vent hood and everything else. Uh, it's a lot of work to clean a kitchen. <laughs> Satisfying work, but it's a lot of work nonetheless. And I think I need to figure out. I'm not cleaning the vent hood properly. There's still grease in places that I'm not getting to. I have to figure out how to clean that too. Anyway, guys, you have a great day. Enjoy whatever weather Tuesday is giving you. Bye-bye.